New York is revealing more details about the five men arrested in the alleged multi million dollar pawn shop schemes that we've been talking about. Two separate complaints outline testimony from drug addicts who say they stole merchandise and sold it to the pawn shops, items the owners and employees would then resell. Kayla Green joins us now live from one of the pawn shops involved in all this. Kayla, what's the latest? Well, Maureen, court documents include several accounts from boosters who explain about transactions made at pawn shops, such as this one here behind me, Pawn and Gold. Now, boosters are addicts who steal items from stores and sell them to pawn shops for money. Several of the boosters say the pawn shop owners knew that the items they were buying were stolen and that the boosters were drug addicts. One addict named Booster One says in court documents that Devin Tribunella, one of the pawn shop owners, was aware the items she sold him were stolen. Booster One says Tribunella gave her his cell phone number and texted her photos of items he wanted her to steal. She also says most pawn shop owners and employees knew she was addicted to pills, but continued buying from her anyway. A conversation between Tribunella and a police officer is also in the paperwork. In the transcript, Tribunella tries to give the police officer an autographed photo of Michael Jordan. The officer didn't accept it. Tribunella later tells the officer if addicts don't sell stolen items to pawn shops, they'll make their money elsewhere. He says they'll start doing home invasions. Another part of that conversation, Tribunella says they steal it. The police officer says, yep. Tribunella responds, but then it becomes unstolen to us because we actually purchased it. The documents also say as of September 2019, 522 people have overdosed in Monroe County this year. 228 of those people have a history of selling to pawn shops. And between the two shops, the suspects bought and resold over $15 million worth of merchandise. Reporting live on Dewey Ave, Kayla Green, News 8.